Hi everybody, it's Imogen and welcome back to Colouring Kids. Uh, B asked if I could show um, how far I've got in Nightfall by Maria Troll. This is actually Schematige, which is the Dutch edition, but it's the same book. Um, so I'm going to be showing you everything I've done. I think I'm around about 25 to 30%. To me it looks more, but I was counting through and actually I've only done, uh, I think I've done... Uh, probably like 20 something pages, I'm not really sure, but I'm just going to get started. So I haven't really been feeding this book lately, I haven't been doing too many pictures in it. I don't know why, I just haven't really been doing it, but I'll show you everything that I've done. So, <clears throat> um, as I mentioned, this is the Dutch edition and it's got really, really thick paper. That's what I really love um, about the, the Dutch editions. So this page is just the title and it, I didn't use any glitter. I just used polychromous and I put some white gel pen on. Again, same thing here. This is just the dragonfly title bit. I remember doing this, I think, I can't remember. I think it might have been back in either... An insert day on 2017 or 2018 and I did it in just the insert day and um, I like this title page I really like the fox gloves and um, I remember really enjoying doing the rose as well the only thing I would probably change is I wouldn't put Win Costello all over the heart and I wouldn't do my name in blue just because I don't think you can see it very well but I was quite nervous about using pen to write my name on so I decided to do pencil because if it went wrong it didn't matter um, but overall I'm really pleased with it and I went over with, as I said, Wink of Stella and my white gel pen. And my white gel pen seemed to work a lot better, if you can see that, but um, I'm still working with it. This page was one of my first, again, um, I tried to use a limited colour palette for this, so obviously I didn't use um, pencil colours that I usually use, uh, so I didn't do green leaves, for example. This was just the way I coloured my trees. Um, I think the thing is with the branches in this book, the way Maria Chaw has um, kind of drawn them, that's how I like to do them. And I really liked experimenting with this Tuscany colour. Um, I just got a couple of polychromous pencils. I think it was the cinnamon one that I mainly was using. But yeah, I'm really happy with that everyone, overall. This was the first page I ever did. Um, I remember using Prismacolor on this. And I was quite happy with the magnolias, and actually they're quite bright, and I have coloured the whole thing. Usually I would leave a bit of a highlight or something, but I didn't for this, and I did a lot of layering. It did take a while. The only thing I would change again is where this wink of Stella is. I've kind of done a whole big area, and I'm not a big fan of it. I'd probably just go in with the circles and the stars and not bother about the background a bit, but it is what it is, and I don't hate it. <coughs> I was going to do this book in order, and I didn't do that. Okay, this is the first page I ever did with my Crayola pencils. I did this back in August. It didn't take me long at all, and I like the limited colour palette. I think the only thing with this book is um, I do like to search up what they look like because I want to try and make them look realistic, because as you'll see in the back, there's an index. So that was the, it's the only annoying thing when I start a page, because I can't just jump in and do it. For me, I always want to look up what they're meant to look like. But I went over with a couple of Jelly Roll um, glitter pens as well, and the um, the gold Jelly Roll as well. And I like that that one was circular. So there's a couple of these that are really simple to do and then um, won't take you very long, because most of these are singular pages anyway. This one again was one of my first. Um, Hang on, I'm trying to think which one was my first now. Um, no, th this was a get one of the first pages I did. It wasn't the first, but this one, um, I really liked the deer. I, took, I spent ages doing that. Um, I did do Wink of Cello on all of the snow and the um, the water. In hindsight, I probably would have um, done something different with that, but I didn't really use coloured glitter gel pens or other glitter gel pens at that time, I kind of just had the Wink of Stella. These um, bubble thingies in the background, I coloured them in blue, then did Wink of Stella and then did white gel pen over it. And I think because I'd already had the layer of the Wink of Stella, the gel pen didn't work too well, but I do quite like it and I might try and do that at some point in a, a different book maybe. 
but again I quite like the colour palette of that. This one was a recent one, I think this is the most recent one I've done, it was really simple, just some snakehead fritillaries and then, oh I forget what they are, I can't remember, um, and then just the leaves and stuff, and again I really like these black background ones, I absolutely love them. I used Prismacolor and Faber Castell Classics for this one, and I absolutely love it. This one, you remember when I did that whole spur of just doing loads and loads of pages from this book. This I did in a day. Um, when I actually did it, it felt like it was taking ages, but it actually didn't. The thing that took the longest was probably the hair. Um, but the flowers surprisingly did take quite a long time. And um, then I was kind of just racing to finish when I had the um, butterflies left. But... I'm really happy I did this one because it is a double page spread and there are only a few in here but all of the spreads that are double page ones are detailed. Um, I went over with um, a clear glitter uh, jelly roll, gold jelly roll, white gel pen, blue glaze um, and I think that's it. And I'm actually really, really proud of her skin as well because I I do colour people from time to time, but I have, especially with this paper as well, because it's quite smooth, sometimes I think people find it hard to do the layering. I actually didn't, and um, I used Prisma colour for it as well. So I really like how that one turned out, and I'm really proud of being able to just knuckle down and do it and um, be happy with what I um, produce. This one I really like, um, I took quite a long time on the rabbit just doing the layering and things like that. Um, I used Faber Costello Classics and Prismacolor Colour for this one again. Um, I love these, they're similar to Snake Catcher Chilleries, I'm not sure if they're actually the same because they look a bit different. Um, I like the, the variety of pages in this book as well, there are quite a few different ones. And again it's a black background one so I'm not afraid of leaving the the highlights. Um, I went over with white gel pen um, which was quite hard to do on this just because I, when I colour really smoothly and burnish it it's really hard to go over with gel pen I find um, and then I also used, uh, did I use Wink of Stella on that? I can't even tell. I think I just used a clear glitter gel pen on that which you probably couldn't see because I didn't get the angle right. <coughs> I think this was the second page I ever did, and I was deliberating so much on doing these eggs. These eggs took me ages, but I love how they turned out, and it was, it was again, one of my first proper goes with Prismacolor, and I really, really wanted to layer them um, well. They are my favourite thing on this page, probably one of my favourite things I've ever done in this book, and I've tried to replicate them many times. Um, again, I love Bleeding Hearts, and... I, I do, I, I do quite like this page. Um, these flowers worked out quite well. I probably now would go over with some glitter on the butterfly and things like that, but I'm not going to go over stuff on this page because I like leaving them how they are. Because this book kind of shows my journey because this is one of the first books I had as well, so I kind of like seeing how I've progressed. You know, going from this, which is one of my recent pictures, to this the only thing again I probably would change is the bird I don't really like it um it's n I mean it's not realistic that doesn't matter but I think just the way I blended the purples and I think I use polychromous uh purples as well and I don't really like the ones that they have in that set because they um don't have the light violet one anymore and I don't have that and I think they're just quite bright but yeah that doesn't matter <laughs> This one was from a while back as well. I, I actually didn't use blend pads or anything with this, and I can kind of tell. You probably can't from the camera, but I can see where they're not blended in. But I think for a first try, I mean, they didn't really do fur, but covering animals and stuff back then that wasn't really uh, my thing. I didn't really know what to do, so I just I just coloured them in normally. And then I think these are forget-me-nots, and I like how they turned out. They didn't take as long as I thought they would, so that was quite nice. And the leaves, again, they didn't take that long. The thing that took really, a really long time was the um, branches, just because they were all kind of muddled up together. But 
this one was an old one too. I actually recently um, changed something around with these. Originally, and I didn't really like it, I had outlined these in white gel pen and then put the Wink of Stella on for these two. This one I just left with Wink of Stella and I really didn't like it. So um, recently I scraped off the white gel pen just with... Um, I can't even remember how I did it. I just scraped it off because if it's dry enough, and it was for a long time, it, it should be fine. Um, and then I just did little dots of white gel pen instead. And I think I did a new layer of Wink of Stella because it was, it was, it was fading a bit. Love these mushrooms. I like the break in the colour and I've never been able to do that again. I need to try and do that. The only thing I would probably change is... The, <sighs> these background things, not a big fan of them and also the dots in the um, the leaves I uh, didn't cover the dots completely so you can still see all the black but I don't think my white gel pen was working very well this one was another one that I did really quickly when I was zooming through pages in this book um, this one was oh my god I can't remember I think it was Holbein's for this, Faber Castell Polychromis for the leaves, Polychromis for the, the bird, and then I went over the flowers with a Uniball Signo Silver. You can't really tell on the camera, um, but it's there. And again, it's a black background one, so I think the flowers pop on it. This one was a very early one. Um, if you notice, this butterfly is the same as the, the front page one. Um, but because this was on um, white, it didn't turn out as well. I feel like this one's brighter and it looks a bit better. Um, this one has Wink of Stella and then um, white gel pen on top. Everything else, it's quite bright, but I did do it realistically, so that's, that's quite nice. I don't really like the mushrooms with the orange underneath, in hindsight I wouldn't have done that. Um, but again, it was one of my early pictures. I was just getting to grips with my pencils, so that's that one. Got a big break of pages. Uh, here we go again. This is the, uh, one of the ones I did when I was colouring uh, quickly. I tried to replicate the rose at the beginning. Uh, th these aren't quite as dark, but... Um, I still like them. Uh, this was all polychromous actually, it was a really quick one. Um, when the roses were done everything else was pretty quick so I didn't put anything on this, I just left it because it was on a black background as well, I think it looked quite nice. This one was an old one. Um, I did blue poppies instead of red and I, I like how they turned out. This is one of the things I did again where I used polychromes but I went right up to the edge, I coloured them fully, I burnished and I layered. Um, and then I used prismal colour and various other colours in polychromes to fill in the rest of it and I like the, the muted colour palette but also the fact that I used the blue quite a lot. Um, and I'm really proud of these poppies. Um, that's one of my favourite pages that I've done. This one was a quick one. These actually reminded me of owls. I don't know if they were intended that way, but they do have little faces on them. Uh, I think I did this last spring, around Easter time. I put Wink of Stella on the snowdrops and on the bow. I think I did clear glitter gel pen for that. And I think I used Prismacolor for this one. So this was a really nice quick one. Again on a black background. I found now her newer books, she hasn't done as many black backgrounds and I really really like the black backgrounds. If you can see, um, you might not be able to actually. There's quite a lot of black there and um, I've noticed that every kind of three lots of pages is black, um, which I really like. Um, the black background ones are my favourite. And not enough books do them either and I love them. This one was a whip for about a year and a half before I came back to it. I had done a couple of these um, irises and all of the leaves. No, not even all of the leaves. I'd just done kind of this section here. Luckily, I did it with polychromous so I knew what the colours were. Um, and when I came back to it, I finished them off very quickly and then I went over the background with a clear glitter jelly roll, Wink of Stella, 
um, oh my goodness, white gel pen, and these sh shoot shooting star things, which I now use quite a lot in my books, um, are clear glitter gel pen as well. Um, the only annoying thing is it's rubbed off in this background, so when I do do this one, I'm going to try and replicate that and fix these dots. This one was an old one. I did the hedgehog. I, I like it. I think I could put a lot more shading in it now, though, but I'm going to leave it as it is. Um, the apple, it's, it's okay. It's quite bright uh, compared to everything else, but um, I went over these flowers all with Wink of Stella, and I think I used the Wink of Stella a lot when I first had it, and I think that's why it ran out quite quickly. Um, I probably wouldn't have done that now, and I probably wouldn't have gone over all the mushrooms as well. And the butterfly. Um, but I, I quite like this one. It was a bit jumbled in terms of all the different colours. But yeah, I quite like it. Um, what else? That's the really detailed double page spread. This one was the first page I did that got me back into this book a couple of months ago. Um, this little field mouse, door mouse, um, I really, really like. This was all Faber-Castell classics and a couple of prismal colours for the leaves. This I layered and burnished it as well. And I quite like how it turned out. Because it's on a black background, I feel like the, the colours did pop. And I really enjoyed doing it. I find the ones on the black backgrounds aren't as detailed as well. Which is why I probably like them. I really like this one. Okay, this tulip page um, was again I wanted again one I did a couple of months ago. Um, I layered the tulips up quite a lot. They took a while. Everything else didn't take that long. These leaves didn't take that long, and then it was just a matter of colouring these in quickly. Um, and so we've got clear glitter gel pen all over the web and the bees and the flowers a bit I used a um oh what's it called a pencil hybrid dual metallic silver and that's slightly bluey as well I really like it um on some of the dots and silver signo as well and then the white gel pen on the tulips This one I remember doing um, right by Christmas, weirdly. I had started these, um, actually, I started it on I think about the 15th of December last year. Um, and I'd just done the mushrooms and a couple of leaves and stuff. Then I left it, it was a whip forever. I hadn't gone near this book until about March of this year, I think. I came back to it and I thought, you know what, I'm gonna finish it. And um, yeah, I did. And I went over with Wink of Stella, white gel pen, and a clear glitter gel pen. And now I've just got to try and remember the colours I've used to do this one. This one was one I did a couple of months ago as well. This one was a very pale muted one compared to some of the others I'd done. Um, I used Holborn and Prismacolor mainly for the water lily. Um, Actually, yeah, it was mainly Holbein and Prism Colour. And then I went over with Winker Stella, clear, clear glitter gel pen. And then on this cute dragon, I absolutely love these. So cute. Um, it was a gold jelly roll. Then on these bubble things, I coloured them and then went over with an orange jelly roll. Glitter and the gold again. And I used that shooting star method that I'd done as well. And this is my last picture. This one I did, oh, let me think. Um, it might have been March 2018 or even earlier than that. Um, I made Tell It Like Alice in Wonderland. This was the first person I'd done in this book. There are quite a few more. But I'd forgotten, actually, um, how happy I was with it. At, how happy I was with it at the time. Sorry, I can't speak today. Um, let me find it. 
where is she where's the other one I think this skin I prefer I think this one's slightly too pinky I think I used too much of the peach from the prism color but I was learning then uh, I'm still learning now but um it was very detailed it did take me quite a few days um but I really like how it turned out and I think this was just Prismacolor and the Polychromous pencils that I had. Um, so that's everything. And then in the back you can see we have the register, the index. All of these are in Dutch for me so what I have to do is, even if I put them into the internet they come up. But you could use a Google Translate or I believe some of them might be in Latin already, I'm not sure. And that's the last page. So that is everything. So I hope you've really enjoyed um, seeing this video. Thank you, B, for request. Oh my god, I actually can't speak. Requesting this video. Um, it's quite fun to look back on all the pages I've coloured. Um, and yeah, I will see you in my next video. Bye, everyone.